Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Factorio and our bat challenge. That is the Bob's Angels Thousand Challenge. Well, as you can see, I am on a new recording session and I'm hoping you can see the cursor. I have done some testing and it seems like it is actually showing up in the video. So unless something has gone horribly wrong between testing and uh, starting to record this, you should now be able to see the larger cursor. Um, and the way that I've done this, for those of you that are interested, it's not just through Windows, because I'm looking this up a lot more, it seems that the um, just Windows in general, if you go and put a, um, like, adjust the size of it, there's not very many recording programs do actually pick up the adjustment in size. I don't know why. There's just something to do with the way that Windows is coded. But anyway, I've gone to, I think it's customcursors.com or something like that and downloaded their little app. And then I went through and I found a cursor that was suitable. And you can alter the size of it and so on. And it overwrites the Windows cursor with their own cursor. And because they do theirs differently, um, the scaling of it shows up as well. So I've now got this bigger cursor that you should now be able to see. So when I zoom out like that and I go this bit over here or this bit down here, you should be able to see this bright green yellowy cursor wherever I so choose to put it. Sir, can you follow it? You're following it around the screen. Go on, see if you can do it. But anyway, that's that bit, and it does actually seem to be working well at the moment. So whether or not this continues to do well, I don't really know. We will have to wait and see. But what I want to go and do at the moment right now is I want to go and I want to find the factories that we've got over here the, the research facilities now we've got two of each color and right now i'm doing research in this one and it is taking a while and what i wanted to do was i wanted to increase the number of research facilities that we've got of each type because i think we are actually able to keep up with the materials that we're using in all of them and if we go in and we zoom in and we have a little look um that one so we've got this and we need the greens the, the green science which is coming in here that's where the green science is and we're easily able to keep up with demand on those and then it's just the other blocks well it goes through the blocks and it goes through to these so i've got these exploration ones and i've got no problem keeping up with them because it's mostly down to the electronic blocks that was causing it previously and we've got those in place as well. So I think that we could comfortably double up the numbers that we've got. But in order to be able to comfortably double up, I'm going to need to, like, shift a load of these belts around and then reposition all of these. So we've got uh, three, four, five of the sets of materials there. And then I've got the other two lots over here you've got the plain ones right there now those i don't think are used very much apart from upgrading new technologies but this one right here i think this one would be better off being sort of put with the other ones um now if we go in here you don't see very many that actually just require the gray tech apart from oh well there's one that requires the basic data cores which is that one. That's the basic data cores in there. So really, I want that one as well. I want that one to be done with four. And then I've got like this coming over in here. So it's the basic data cores I'm sending over that way. And then I've got the other three as well. I want to take those two and those two, plus all of the others. And I want to put them all down so that I've got in one location, I've got all... Uh, six of these, one, two, three, four, five, no, seven, all seven types in one place. But I would also like them to be producing, um, I'd like to have four factories of each. Now, I'm kind of looking at the belts and, and the belt mixtures that we've got here. And like where we might be able to, like, you know, maybe we could put some up here. Maybe we could spread this out enough that we could put them in here. 
I'm thinking that we probably can't. So now what I'm thinking is we leave these where they are, but we also put down a chest next to these belts so that we can start pulling some of these off and then moving them via a chest over to a new location. I don't want to do it there because I'm already using that for something else, and I'd like to not move them very far, which is, say, down over here. That's that distance there. That's where we, yeah, we're, we're right next to it. We are next to them, aren't we? Where am I? Yes, I'm over here. Right. So that location right there is where we could, we would pick up the bulk of them. And the nearest point is either up north, up here. We've got a nice big area. We, we could possibly squeeze it in there, but I don't know. That doesn't seem very good for a research facility. Thinking, really, we want to put research... Well, then, I've got the new research bits up here, so maybe I ought to be putting it up in that bit right there. We've got a nice big area right there. I could go and use that. We've got some tin and stuff going on right here at the minute, but we can... That can be moved around. And then I've got these over here. They'll be used, and um, they can be expanded on, and then they'll be sort of close by. And once I've gone, like, if I was to go and put down two of each, I could then get rid of these and just have chests in here instead. Right, it's decided. That's what we're going to do. We're going to move all of the research so that we can double it up and then we can do research a little bit faster. Um, I do have other things that I'm going to be doing as well. So I want basic labs, two of those. One, two. Cannot insert basic lab inventory full. It's because I've got the landfill that I'm supposed to be heading back over and doing right now. I will cancel those basic labs then. Right, let's go and do the landfill first. Let's do one thing at a time. I'm 91% done on that research anyway. So if I race over and I go and do that, I can set up the new bit. And then we can potentially start doing the research while this bit in here is, is kind of like doing what it's going to do. So I, I got the landfill so that I could come over this way and then I could fill in a big chunk. Where, did, where was I going? I was I was bringing that out and I've got naphtha. No, I was going to bring naphtha out over and then I was also going to bring that fuel oil over as well and that's going to be new fuel isn't it so we want to bring that down i brought it down over to here and it's this bit that i want to fill in and this bit in under here that i want to fill in as well so if i go over here like this and i'll make that one a bit bigger and go like that now i was told that if you see this says offshore pump if you fill that in water well pump. I was told that it changes it. But it doesn't change the speed, it just changes it to water well pump when you fill in the landfill around it. I didn't know if it would change the um, the water speed next to it as well. The, the pump, not the water speed, the, the, the pumping speed. I, I, I didn't know if it would make any changes to that, but apparently it does not. Um, right, so we can go here like this. Fill this in, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to fill it into this level down to here. So I'll just block that in. She's going to fill in a few of these. I'll knock that down quite a bit smaller, and I'll pop that one in there. This one. All right, let's let's drop down to this level. Like that. Fill in all of that. So that's now a water well pump in there instead of just an ordinary water pump. Water well pump, 1,200. So a water well pump, is that a thing that I can build and then use? Is that like a, a thing that we can do? We got pump right there. Barreling. Uh, I, I don't know. Absolutely no idea. We can have a look in here and we can see where the crafting. So we've got production in there. It doesn't seem to... Well, gee, there was a type of pump jack, wasn't there, that we could do that with? I don't know if it's in this bit. What are you? Your agri agricultural module. Okay, machine will have higher yields with increased productivity. Um, 
water treatment, petrochem, barreling and fluid control. I got pump, pump two. 4,800 per second for pump. Right, 12,000 per second. This, well then that's, that's not the same as that. They're saying 1,200 per second. It's only pulling out um, 700. So maybe those numbers are wrong. It might be the numbers are wrong. Then they might not be. You never know. Uh, right. Well, that's barreling and fluid control. Petrochem water treatment. We've got groundwater. Oh, a groundwater bore there. Offshore pump is 12. That's why. I've got offshore pump there. And then over here, I've got the regular pump. That's the one that does not an offshore pump. That's one that just goes on to pipe work. So it, it, it can, like, move extra bits. Right, okay, well, we'll just ignore all of that now. And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to make that bigger like that. And I'm just going to run right along here, ignoring everything else. That's our research finished, and done. So let me just bring that down like that. And then I'm going to go over here like this. I'm going to fill that bit in like that. And I'm going to have a look up here. Right, I've got 2,800 landfill left right now. So I'm going to go to there. And I'm going to do a line all the way down here, ignoring the fact that I'm covering up little islands and stuff. I don't mind about that just yet, uh, just now. And then I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to cover up all of this lot. Uh, there, like that. And then I'm going to do another one here. Covering up islands again. Because I am just that kind of monster. And then I'm going to put that down to a smaller area. Tell me if this cursor is, like, too big, if it's, if it's like, wrong for your um, maximum enjoyment of this series. I don't want it to be the wrong type of cursor. If you do like it, then obviously you can say that as well. If, if this is the correct type of cursor for your maximum enjoyment of this series. That's, that's the whole idea of this is that we want maximum enjoyment of the series. So I'm just going to bring that over there and cover in that little patch there. And then we've got a number of little bits of pools and stuff that we want to go through here. Right, uh, while I'm just sort of sorting out, so we've got the flammables. That's the next bit in place, and that's unlocked um, all the fuel and stuff like that, which is going to be dreadfully helpful to us. Cannon turret right there. What does that do? I'm not sure what that one does. Shotgun, cannon, turret, uh, ra minimum range 10, range 30. All right. Well, that's interesting. Vehicle solar panels. Don't want those. I could go for the automobiles. We could go with the flamethrower, which would unlock flamethrower ammo and stuff like that. Energy weapon damage increase. Circuit networks over here, which generally would be quite handy. Uh, no, atomic artillery. Artillery, there. Right, stick with the artillery for a minute and we'll see what we want to unlock. Automobiles. Right, I'm going to go over this side and I'm going to unlock a couple of these. So I've got plastics there and I've got resins. I've already unlocked... Well, I've already done plastics. Uh, advanced gold, advanced silver, advanced zinc. We've got ore processing up there, which we kind of need to get done. Coal processing here. That gives us some rather useful extra bits. So we will go with the coal processing because that gives um, clean coal to coke and sulfuric waste water. You have two crushed coal. That gives you coke and sulfuric waste water. This one over here, well, you need sodium hydroxide for doing that process right there. Coke into carbon type thing. Carbon monoxide, carbon purified water. Um, yeah, useful little items. We'll, we'll grab that one. We'll, we'll add that into the research queue. And 
go over here and start just covering over a couple of these little bits. I got 1,400 now. Let me fill in these ponds right here. That's what we'll do next. Look at the lovely green shade that we've got in our water here. Isn't that, doesn't that pollution just warm the cockles of your heart? Doesn't that make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, knowing that not only are we, you know, exploiting this planet for every single natural resource that we can get, but we're also making sure that we leave our mark on it permanently by ensuring that no life form will ever live on the surface of this planet ever again. Kind of makes you proud, doesn't it? That might be why humanity is considered a bit of a disease in the better parts of the galaxy. Well, actually, it was, um, it's, uh, human thought. Human thought is considered to be so primitive in, um, some of the more advanced galaxies that it's looked upon as an infectious disease. What film is that from? See if you can tell me where humanity is considered, well, hu human thought is considered to be an infectious disease. What film is that from? Does anybody know? Points if you do. I will, I will give points if you know what film that is from. And I will be pleased with you because you're watching the right kind of films. Right, I, you will have Frithgar's stamp of approval for watching the correct type of films. If you know what film that one is from. And, I mean, everybody should know what film that one's from, because that's, that's the right kind of film. But not everybody does. Unfortunately, not everybody does watch the right kind of films. And, quite frankly, I find it to be a little bit disappointing. It's, it's a sad reflection on the state of modern youth when you haven't been watching the correct kind of films. Right, I'm just going to bring that over there. And then you want to be here like this. I could have made that a little bit smaller and not used up quite so much. And right, I got 200 landfill left. So I'm going to do a single line down through here. I've got 200 and something. I'm doing a single line all the way down through so that I have just under one full stack there. Right, so that's my landfill out of the way. I'm now going to go up here and I'm going to go back to the project that I was working on last time, which is pipe work. I'm going to bring the pipe work all the way down here. Like this. Get rid of that one. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here. I just want to have a look. Uh, which way did we go? Right, so I wanted to bring the oil to be on the inside. Which is fine. This one can go right here and I'll run that one along. Actually, we, we, let's just fill in that bit a bit of copper pipe on there and I've only got 11 of these left now I need some more and right we can run past all of this lot there and that's my last one so now I can go for a little bit of a jaunt straight up through here and go and find the pipes that we were making previously I know they're around here somewhere not quite sure where somewhere is. Uh, oh, there they are. Right. We can go for our little jaunt down here. And there are the pipes that we're after. And we got loads of them. Right. There's 100. There's 200. There's 300 of the pipes. We've got 189 copper pipes. I'm going to want to get... Actually, I don't need to get any more of those just yet. All right. Yeah, excuse me. Um, I will get some more copper pipes, but I'm not going to quite yet. I'm going to just wait a minute. Now, I need to bring this fluid here over to here, and we are actually wanting to make solid fuel right there. So to craft that one, I need one coke and I need 50 fuel oil. Or I need one coke and I need 100 naphtha. And then one coal and 175 hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is actually fairly easy to get. That one is, is quite an easy thing to go and get. We're getting hydrogen gas over here and we don't actually have any spare hydrogen gas at the, well, what we do like that. Hydrogen is busy making over there and I've got 
No, I thought I had another plant that was making more hydrogen gas somewhere. No, I don't. I've got hydrogen gas making there, and I want to use hydrogen gas over here with coal. I don't really have a way to bring it over, unless I use robots. We could do that. We could have a bottling plant on here, and we could use robots to bring the stuff over. I'm burning off excess on here at the moment, and then I've got oxygen in there, which we're using up. But I should also, if I'm burning it through this, we kind of want to be turning the excess into other things. Uh, what I've got in here is more slag being produced. I don't think I'll bring the hydrogen all the way from over there because I'll, I'll have other uses for it. So I'm not going to worry about it just yet. So I'm going to want oil and this. I'm going to want oil and being used in there. Wait a minute. Go back. Uh, craft right in here. So ignore that one just for a minute. Then we've got methane. This this one here we've got now with the flammables. We've got methane and coke in there. Synthesis gas and coke in there. And we've got hydrazine gas in there. This is three techs that we don't yet have unlocked. Um, so one coke and 50 fuel oil. And that takes... Oh, we can do that in the liquefier. A liquefier or a chemical plant. 2.6 seconds in there. 2.2 seconds in there. And this one's the same and it's much the same amount of time. How long does it take to make the coke? Crushed coal into there. It's half a second. So one of these will feed two of the other plants. So I think we want to be putting these onto a belt. Rather than having them as they are right now. So we're going to take a belt and we're going to put the belt going in partly that. she? I think what I'll do is I'll go with half and half. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 up through there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of these right here. And then that can go... There, like that, and then this one here, that's going to go up, over, and then that one's going to go that way. So we'll have this line here is going to supply one lot of factories, and then the other line's going to supply the other lot of factories. We'll go and get our pipe over this side, and we'll sort of bring that one down through, and then we can do a bit of a connection onto it. So I want to bring you over from here... And I'm going to bring you over to that point and then down here like this. So connect to you a second and then I'll run you down here. There. And you're going to go there and then we'll put another pipe in. Right, so that can sit there for a second before we come across here. I've got several pipes here that are running up and down through. We've got this um, natural gas coming up through. That natural gas, that's now all finished, so I can rip all of that out. That whole thing is now done and dusted. So I, I can remove that entire natural gas line, which is what I'm actually going to go and do that right now. I'm going to go back through because we've got tanks there that we had the natural gas sitting in. I got no other processing going on there. We just had where we'd pulled the natural gas out of the ground, and then that was it. So th this is empty. Well, I say it's empty. It's got like 20 in there. There's nothing in there. I, I don't want that. So I'm going to get rid of this. That's the end of the natural gas tanks. They're gone. And then I can take up these pipes here. And run all the way back over to the rest of our area. Let me just come off of that belt a second. I'll be a little bit careful going through areas like this that I don't get too many of them. If I accidentally get the wrong pipe here, I could mess up another system completely and mess it up quite severely I you, you could you could cause a lot of damage on another part of a system and and really make some mess in there and I don't really want to do that so I'll bring this one up here like this and get rid of 
that and then I'll follow that one up in a bit and I'll go and chase that through some more and then over here I want to be able to join this bit in so I've got these iron pipe to ground right here and I can't I'm thinking I'm probably going to want those to go a little bit further than they do right now. I mean, maybe it'd be better if I was to bring them out this side, down here, and then go underneath that lot. Um, maybe even down in through here. I, I don't really know at the moment, but we, we, we'll get to that. That's, that's not what we're going to deal with just yet. So what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go up through here, and I'm going to put down... Some of these. I'm actually going to put two on each of these, I think, is what I'll do. So I'm going to need another bit of belt right on there. There, so I've got two on there, and two out on each of these, which means I need another bit of belt on there, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to take you, and I'm going to have you with an offset... Wait. Oh, uh, yeah, right. We need the near side offset on you. And then I can copy-paste that into the lower one of each of these, like this. And then I will take a power pole, and I'll put it in the middle of each pair, like this. And that's going to fire them up. So I've now got a whole load of coke all the way down through there. Then I need chemical factories, chemical plants. We've got crushed coal. I've got coal in there. I'll get rid of those in a minute. I need chemical plant, which means I'm going to go to petrochemical refining. These are the new ones that we've got in here. Coke, coke, and coal and hydrogen. And then I've got this one, which is liquid fuel into the enriched block and that's fuel oil there so i want to make this except i can't make it yet i don't have residual gas that's the slight problem with this one is i need to be able in order to be able to make that fuel oil for the enriched blocks which is the one that i'd really like to do to make that one i need to make liquid fuel and then i can turn that into enriched blocks I've got, here it can go into, that's, that one doesn't count for anything. Uh, napalm capsule, I'm unlikely to use that. And a rocket body. Okay, I'm probably unlikely to use that. But this is the main one right here. Liquid fuel to make an enriched block. Liquid fuel. Is, well, it's got heat capacity. It's got max temperature and minimum temperature and so on. But then I've got this one. Fuel value of 50 megajoules. And I can make that in a chemical plant. Just an ordinary... Wait. Just plain liquid fuel gets turned into an enriched fuel block. Is that all we need for that? It would appear so. In order to make it, though... Oh, yeah, that's where the residual gas comes from. Um, I need 10 residual... You need the fuel oil, and then I need 10 residual gas, and that makes the liquid fuel. So... Um, hang on. These here, these solid fuels, that's 12 megajoules in there. Whereas the solid, the enriched one, is 50 megajoules. So that's only 12. Now, I can make 24 megajoules in here. Like the, the solid fuel in here. I have 50 fuel oil and a bit of coke. And that makes 24 megajoules. I need... To go into here, uh, usage, to make that one, I need 100 liquid fuel. And I need 50 liquid fuel. Basically, I need 50 of the other to... Yeah, so I'm... I'm there's not a lot in it, actually. If, if you think about it... If, if... Well, unfortunately, that is all we've got time for. We will come back tomorrow and we will carry on with the bat challenge. Continue trying to make a thousand of absolutely everything... But whilst I take a little short break and try to catch me a door flirp, uh, if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.